What's up, YouTube? I wanted to do a discussion today. Today, I wanted to give you guys my yo-yo contest travel tips. All right, so yo-yo contest travel tips. We're gonna try to number these. We're gonna try to do a list. I don't have it written down though, so we'll see how well this goes. Number one, you're going to want to bring to a yo-yo contest, especially if you travel, like worlds, nationals, and you know, it's several days of contest and you're staying overnight, but really any contest. If you're coming to East Coast Masters, still a good, uh, these are, this is a good list of tips. First and foremost, clearly, bring a yo-yo. At least one, if not a few. I would recommend not going overboard with yo-yos. Uh, they're heavy, uh, they're hard to lug around, and you know, you don't want to get them beat up or lost or anything, but it's a good idea to keep one on you and, you know, get your favorite yo-yo holster. Boom, good to go. Always have a yo-yo on you and you're in good shape. The other thing, the next thing that I would recommend is a small, mostly empty yo-yo bag case thing. So the thing you'll notice at yo-yo contests is there's always yo-yos for sale. And if you show up to a yo-yo contest with a full case of yo-yos and no extra space, you're gonna regret that. Uh, you're gonna want to buy some yo-yos and then put them into the case to take home and travel safely with you. Uh, even if the one yo-yo you brought has to hang on your hip and then you buy four and stick them into this bag or whatever, a spare case, these plastic, these soft yo-yo factory bags, I think there's a yo-yo expert version of this too, uh, are phenomenal. I take, I have two. I'll probably take both of them to uh, both Worlds and Nationals with me. Uh, they, that's what I did last year uh, at Nationals. They hold up great. I've had these for years. I always take them to Yo-Yo Club. Uh, they're tre they're tremendous. Uh, they're usually, you sometimes get them free when you buy a Yo-Yo Factory Yo-Yo. Everybody's got one, but if not, uh, I would suggest picking one up. They're like 20 bucks. Uh, probably one of the most useful things in Yo-Yo that's not a Yo-Yo. Um, the other thing, of course, is extra string. Uh, I would say just stuff it in there. It doesn't matter what it is. I usually have a bunch of zipline strings with me as well. So if you see me, you can ask me for a string. Uh, I'll probably throw a big package of white strings in as well when I go to Nationals and just leave it in there while uh, for, it'll be sort of packed for Worlds for the next month. Um, but the case, the strings, just, you know, your general yo-yo essentials. Uh, you know, you may want to stick your yo-yo factory tool in there as well. Uh, I think I broke mine, so I may have to pick up a new one when I get to Nationals. But uh, a tool is always good as well. But you're going to want to sort of pre-think about this stuff and pack it and prepare because if you're a couple hours from home, that's no good. So this is number two, the uh, yo-yo case with accessories. And then the yo-yo is number one. Number three, uh, backpack. Bring a backpack. Go to Marshalls or whatever. Uh, be ready to spend 30 bucks and get yourself a decent backpack uh, if you don't have one. Uh, if you do, clearly you're already in the winning. Uh, I like ones with extra stuff. I have two. I have one for work and one for play. Uh, this is the play one. It goes to Yo-Yo Club. It goes traveling with me. It goes on hikes if I need that. It went to Disney World. Uh, pack it with stuff you'll probably need. Food, extra clothes, whatever. Uh, the backpack is key. You will probably see me with a backpack on at all times. At Worlds, at Nationals, and everything. Just because everything will fit so nicely into it. Uh, I'll pack my clothes in a duffel bag. And I'll pack everything else, yo-yos, extra stuff, what food, whatever, in my backpack. Uh, could not be more useful. Think about carrying a backpack with you, especially when you travel to a yo-yo contest because it's just a better idea than it is to have, you know, stuff strewn everywhere. And uh, I like to have, like I said, the ones that are sort of organized because then I can always find things and fit things in extra pockets, even if I wasn't expecting to need that or use that thing. The next thing I'm going to suggest you bring to a yo-yo contest, especially because a lot of them happen in the summer, uh, is an extra shirt or several extra shirts. Uh, if you go to Walmart, these George ones are really nice and they're like five bucks. They're really soft, you can get the V-necks or the regular ones and they come in every color. 
bring extra shirts. Uh, Chicago was super hot last year. Uh, oh my god, hot, like, ran back to the hotel at lunchtime, took a shower, changed clothes because everything I was wearing was soaked. Uh, extra shirts particularly, extra pants too, but definitely extra t-shirts. Uh, I don't think I've gone through any yo-yo contests without either spilling something on myself or just it being so unbelievably hot I wanted to take a shower in the middle of the day and change my shirt. So, extra shirts. Uh, that's number three. Uh, you'll, you'll thank me later. Believe me. Believe me. You will thank me later. Uh, the other thing you are going to want to bring to a yo-yo contest is a pocket knife. Uh, you'll be surprised how many people have no way of cutting strings. Uh, and how many strings you'll go through um, and want to cut and set up and everybody else. Bring a pocket knife. Cut your strings, cut your friend's strings. It's perfect. Uh, it's also useful in just about every other scenario. Now, clearly you can't bring one if you're going to fly. Uh, if you're going to fly, you can't bring it. But that's where the yo factory tool comes into play. But I would suggest a pocket knife. It's number four. Pocket knife. Right? Four. Yo-yo. Bag and strings. Sure. Pocket knife. Four. Um, so definitely, I would say bring with you a pocket knife or something. Uh, now the fifth thing isn't really a thing, it's sort of preparation pre-planning. So whether you're going to get a hotel or you're going to get a Airbnb or whatever, you need to sort of prep and plan this stuff ahead of time. Uh, I would recommend making a friend, getting a hotel room. Uh, usually hotels are pretty cheap, not necessarily the ones that the contest is being held at, although sometimes you get pretty good rates and pretty good deals. Um, but usually there's a hotel that's a little more affordable within a mile or so, especially because for bigger contests and for like stuff like East Coast Masters, they're generally held in rather large cities. Philadelphia is a huge city. Uh, you know, worlds will be in Cleveland. Cleveland's a big city with lots of hotels. When we do East Coast Masters in Pittsburgh, there are hotels coming out of every which way here in Pittsburgh. If you want to stay near the airport, you pretty much stay for like less than $100 for like a five, like a four and five star room. There's just so many hotels around. Um, and figure out how you're going to get from one place to another. Ubering is good and generally we have contests in cities that have pretty good Uber and Lyft and all that stuff. It gets a little sketchy in rural areas, but mostly contests are held in major cities, so it's not all that hard to get an Uber or anything. Um, but, you know, think about renting a car, too, if you're going to fly. Sometimes it just makes more sense to have a vehicle uh, and, you know, you could spend, you know, a hundred and some dollars on the hotel for a couple nights. You could spend a hundred-ish dollars, get a good rate, bundle it all together. You know, you spend 200 bucks or so, you get a nice hotel, a rental car, because you can bundle it all together on all those travel sites and stuff. And for relatively nothing, uh, you know, you've got a nice car, a car to drive around and a hotel to stay at and uh, you can you can really do that stuff in bundles pretty inexpensively and it will really you know for just a few bucks more that that would end up costing and you know it may even end up evening out with uber costs and everything it really can kind of make your trip a lot easier and kind of make you be the guy who can sort of get anybody out in a pinch like you know, if you stay too late or something, or can't get an Uber, or somebody can't get an Uber, you go, oh, just ride with me, come on, let's go. Hop in the car, whew, out. Um, I would also suggest if you're of age to be able to travel via your own vehicle, to go ahead and do vehicle maintenance, get your oil changed, uh, you know, tire pressure check, get, the, get everything checked, do that before you go to the contest. If it's close, just do it. Uh, you don't want to break down outside of town. Get it done before you go, and uh, that way, again, you can be that guy who is in charge. But mainly, preparation is key. Uh, you will have more fun if you are prepared to go to a yo-yo contest, and they're fun. They are super fun. So if you show up ready to have fun and prepared to have fun, you're going to have a blast. And it's one of the coolest vacation-type experiences, if you're into yo-yo, uh, that you can have because it's generally inexpensive to, to go. Uh, it's usually free to attend the contest uh, unless you're competing, but even if you're competing, you, you might be able to win. So, you never, never know. Uh, always a uh, good thing to do is doing some prep ahead of time. It really will make your contest experience ten times better 
Um, but those are my five yo-yo contest prep tips. Get the bags. I'll be a link down in the description uh, to get a pretty cool uh, bag, like travel bag for you. Uh, I would suggest doing that. Um, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys at Nationals, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, so expect to see some content from me from that. I might live stream a little bit. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.